I don't know why, except a ton of you guys were very interested in the parking situation and how long I can get away without paying for parking. So, uh, once again, my car has been down there for like three, three and a half hours, just right there. No ticket, nothing. Everyone else is paying for parking and I'm just sitting there keeping my fingers crossed that I can somehow continue to get away with this. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? We are back with another video. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. What are you doing with your life? Uh, in other news, what am I doing with my life? I drove half an hour across the city in terrible traffic to the Nike store. And then I get to the Nike store and I learn that for some reason, Winnipeg was six months behind everyone else. And now they've decided that you need to wear a mask inside all of the stores. But I missed the memo and they weren't providing masks at the store. They were just like, you don't have a mask, you can't come in the store. So instead of deciding to somehow make it a political issue and film myself complaining, I said, ah, that sucks. Guess I'm not going to Nike. Instead, I just made the healthy choice, the smart choice, the only reasonable choice there was, and got McDonald's. There's a pretty high chance at this point that every single street in downtown Winnipeg might be getting torn up and fixed at the exact same time. That is the street outside of my condo building, and then every single street surrounding my condo building, surrounding my office, in fact, surrounding my dad's office, surrounding all streets that I drive on, are all under construction at the same time. You know in New York, they tear up a street and they have it fixed in like four or five days. I'm sure that's the case most places in the world. In Winnipeg, they tear up a street and maybe they'll be halfway done by like next year. So I was digging through my storage locker today and came across just a couple gems that I really forgot. I mean, I didn't forget I had them, but I just sort of forgot about them. I, I knew they were sitting in there, but I hadn't thought about them in a long time. First off is these, probably the dumbest piece of footwear I've ever bought. Bought these two years ago in Singapore. If you guys were watching the channel back then, uh, I really don't know why I decided to purchase these. I was probably just in a really stupid mood and I was like, oh, why not? I'll totally buy them. This is the coolest thing ever. I'm gonna be so awesome and popular and look like a total idiot wearing Gucci slides with like giant all-terrain tire tread on the bottom. Like these are insane. These are absolutely nuts. I've never, ever, 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 ever wore them in my life. I don't even know what I would wear them with. I don't wear Gucci slides or regular slides. They were like $230 or something and in Singapore dollars. I don't know what that is in US or Canadian dollars. So it wasn't terrible, but like, why did I think I needed to buy Gucci slides? These on the other hand, I bought when I was 17 and have no regrets. And I'm so, if you, if you guys know this box, you know exactly what they are already. This is an insane box for an insane pair of shoes. The LeBron 11 All-Star that released on All-Star Weekend 2014. I haven't seen these in years. I probably haven't seen these since I moved out of my dad's house and moved them into my storage locker two and a half years ago. These are just absolutely gorgeous. Look at this pair of shoes. This is back when basketball shoes were popular. This is back when basketball shoes were cool. I'm sorry I'm bringing you guys down a trip on memory lane that you didn't ask for at all, but I pulled these out of the storage locker and this just brings me back. Uh, all of this creamy, white, glowy looking stuff. It all glows in the dark. I wore these to a, like a global issues or like a history class or something and we watched a movie and then all of a sudden my shoes started glowing and everyone lost their minds. I don't even care if they look ugly actually. I'm going to wear these within the next week. I guarantee you stay tuned to my Instagram at Tom Stefanik. These will be on my feet in my Instagram story. I guarantee you. Okay, I hate to interrupt except yesterday there was an extremely cool sneaker event that I went to and I vlogged the entire thing. Let's take the YouTube time machine to like 18 hours ago. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Since there's a global pandemic going on and no one is allowed to have concerts or conventions or really large gatherings of any type inside of closed buildings, people have had to get a little bit creative this year. One thing that obviously fits inside the box of large gatherings inside of a small space that definitely are not allowed right now are sneaker meetups and sneaker shows and sneaker cons and stuff like that and Winnipeg doesn't have huge ones it's not something that Winnipeg is known for but they do have small meet and greet sneaker swap type things 
every once in a while. Not the case this year for very obvious reasons, except some people decided to do one in a park today, just like outside in the middle of a park. I got invited to come check it out. Me personally, it just doesn't seem like the best idea to, it's very cloudy and like there's, there's forecasted for a chance of showers in a couple of hours. It doesn't seem like the best idea to have a sneaker show with thousands of dollars of shoes in a park. Nonetheless, we are going to the park. We're gonna check it out. I think I know a bunch of people there, so it should be fun. Um, I'm purposely not bringing any money, so I don't buy, maybe, you know what? I can probably go find an ATM if I wanna buy something. I really shouldn't buy something, though. I found it. The park is, I have never been to this park in my life before and it is busy and it is huge. This is probably like the size of Central Park. I never knew this existed in Winnipeg. This is so strange. Uh, there's stuff going on everywhere. They put the sneaker tables under tents, which makes a lot of sense. That was like, cause it's gonna rain. There's tents. All right guys, check this out. This is actually really, really cool. They have all the canopy set up. They have a bunch of tables. Uh, right off the bat, I've never seen these in my life before, in person. Um, the tie-dye women's Jordan 1s. I don't know if there's a proper name for these, but we're calling them the tie-dye women's Jordan 1s. Really cool. If they did like a, uh, a black and white and gray, just like a grayscale version of the tie-dye, I think that would be super cool. I'd probably wear those. Um, they have the smoke grays, which are very nice. They have the bread 11s. They have lash shot 14s. They have these. I, I have these. I don't have these. I mean, I do have these, just not these. You guys know what I'm saying. I have the 2016 bread ones. Wow, not bad. I haven't seen just tables of sneakers laying around in forever. Look at this table, it's all kid sizes. Oh my goodness, I've never seen these in my life before. These are wild, hot pink Jordan ones. We have all of the low tops. Uh, these are actually really nice. I sort of might wanna maybe possibly have to definitely purchase these because I wanna get the, the high tops that came in the defining moment pack or the whatever pack with the airships and the Jordan ones. But those are like over two grand now, and I'm not paying two grand for a pair of Jordan 1s that's just white and red as nice as they are. I usually hate Jordan 1s with the big jump man on the tongue and the, the whatever on the back, but I might have to settle for these because there's no way I'm paying for the high tops. Bit of a backstory on the high top Jordan 1s from whatever pack they're from. I can't even remember the name of the pack, but they released on All-Star Weekend or maybe a couple days before All-Star Weekend were super, super limited. Everyone wanted to get them. They're reselling for $1,200, $1,500. And Seth and I are at an Air Jordan All-Star Weekend event where there's a bunch of different displays and they're showing all the product that's coming out. And we're just browsing and this guy comes up and he's like, hey, love your videos, man. What are you buying? I didn't know I was able to buy anything. So I was like, you seriously, like we could just get whatever we want for retail? And he's like, yeah, man, everyone's allowed to buy stuff for retail. So I was like, uh, can we can we get the pack? And he's like, yeah, man, what size you want? I got you. So he goes in the back, gets a size 12, he gets like a size nine or whatever Seth wears, and he's literally putting in the payment information and his manager walks up and says, hold up, do they have blue wristbands or red wristbands? And we had red wristbands. And the blue wristbands were like for NBA players and retired NBA players and Jordan brand employees and important media members and stuff like that. They were allowed to do all their shopping first and then when they were done, it was poor peasant red wristband time. Uh, yeah, we weren't allowed to buy them. We had to sit and wait for another hour and a half until the red wristbands got called up. And then by the time the red wristbands got called up, there was no more packs. So instead of getting those, I didn't get those. Also on a complete side note, these ones are really, really nice as well. Just being a Celtics fan, I'm sort of biased, but I'd probably buy these. Oh my goodness, check this out. I've never seen these in my life before. The Sean Weatherspoon Air Maxes, or Air, what am I saying, Asics. These are freaking sick. I really, really, really like these. I don't want to touch them because I'm going to knock them off the stand, but these are really nice. Not bad at all. And just a whole bunch of other crazy stuff. Uh, these, ordered these off StockX two months ago. Still hasn't shown up. So I've sort of just lost hope on that. I've just lit that $400 on fire that I bought for those. Um, and then a whole bunch of really, really cool dunks over here. Strange loves, whatever these are, not even gonna lie like I know what the name is. These ones look really cool as well and so do these. Some Sakai Blazers. I'm terrible with all these old Nike SBs. I know you guys are gonna kill me. But the Sean Witherspoon, seriously, if you guys have not seen these in person, go find them in person. 
because these are like really, really, really nice. I'm super proud of myself. I made it out of there without purchasing anything. I really, really, really want to get those white and red low tops. Thankfully, Kevin, the guy selling them, did not have my size, which is great. He had a size 10 and a half. That is one of the best things that can ever happen when I want to buy a pair of shoes, but they don't have my size because then I get to save money. Very cool though. I definitely want to buy those shoes looking at them now. I don't know if I've honestly ever seen them in person. I think they released after quarantine. Still a little bit shocked that that many people have that many shoes out when it definitely looks like it's gonna rain. Very proud of myself that I didn't purchase those. The, the meetup was actually pretty cool though. I wish things like that happened more often in this city because there's just never, ever anything like that, especially in a park. It was very interesting. Just looking at the uh, the New Beginnings pack, which I finally remember the name, the New Beginnings pack of the Airship and the Jordan 1, it's insane. I can pretty much safely say that these are gonna be the closest that I ever get to owning them, which you guys might be saying, Tom, these are the Chicago's, these are way better. I know it's a hot take, except I genuinely prefer the New Beginnings Jordan 1s. I think they just look cooler. It's just more simple. It's just red and white. And I personally love the Storm Blues and the New Beginnings is basically just a red version of the Storm Blues. I think the New Beginnings are amazing. I also think the Chicago's are amazing, but if I had to choose, I'd choose the New Beginnings. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching at this point in the video, I have a very important piece of information for you. It is actually my birthday today. Well, I mean, it's technically my birthday yesterday, but by the time you guys are seeing this, I mean, it's my birthday now, but when you see it, it would have been. You guys know what I'm saying. If you're still watching at this point in the video, make sure you hit the like button and comment happy birthday down below. And also, if you would like to pick up a mystery box on my birthday, link in the description. You know what? I'm even going to throw those Gucci slides in the mystery box for September. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I'll be back soon with a brand new video. So until then, peace.